Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Jamie Fenn and I'm gonna show you two clips real quick and I want you to comment below before you watch the rest of the video and tell me how you think it was done. If you guessed that this was shot on a green screen and then I tracked him into the background, you are wrong. <laughs> it's actually done using a really awesome tool that's built into DaVinci Resolve. It's really easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. But before we get started, I wanna give a big shout out to Andreas Hem for the footage and also the inspiration behind this video. If you wanna check out his channel, there's a link down in the description, and there's also a link for the footage. So if you wanna download it and follow along, that would be awesome. So once you've downloaded the footage or you use your own footage, drag it into your timeline and right click on the clip that you wanna do this on and come up to new Fusion clip. Put the playhead over the clip. Let's go into Fusion. So once you've opened Fusion, click on the median node and hold down shift, push spacebar, type in paint. Then we wanna come up to this tool right here, which is the polyline stroke tool. And we're gonna just create a perfect straight line by clicking at the top and the bottom of what we want to eliminate from the frame. By default, it generates this white line, but if you come over here to the inspector and come under apply controls, you'll see this little barbed wire icon. That's wire removal. Look how easy that was. You want to adjust this to not be so soft and be so big because it kind of cuts into his hair here. So we can go under brush controls and adjust the size down. And you can actually adjust the size down to the point where it kind of doesn't really show and you'll see how accurate your line was. So kind of go to the middle of the wire that you want to remove. And then you can adjust the size again to kind of make sure it goes outside of that line. And you can adjust the softness as well. So once you've done that, you're gonna have to animate it. And by default, the wire removal tool will not just automatically keyframe once you start moving forward with the frames. So we have to come down to stroke controls and come down to the very bottom, scroll down to right click here for shape animation, right click and click on animate. Now, as you move forward through the clip, as you move these points, it will keyframe the wire removal tool until you basically stop keyframing it. You can keyframe each frame if you like, but I will probably only do about every five frames because that seems to work pretty well. And now when I use the arrow keys to move backwards, you can see that the line is being keyframed to the wire. And now I'm gonna do this all the way through to the end of the clip. So now once you've done it all the way through the clip, this is what it looks like. But as you can see, you can still see like the cable hanging above his head. So there's a few adjustments that I want to show you that can kind of eliminate that. So let's go back into Fusion. And if I come up here, one setting I like to use is I use the blend type edge blend. That kind of softens things up a little bit. And you can also change the distance, which will kind of blend it better it just depends on your shot and like how soft you make this and how big you make the line. So maybe I'll turn up the size a little bit of the line. You just by adjusting those two controls, it really hides the line really well. You can't really even see it unless you're really looking for it. And so say if you have two lines in the shot, all you have to do is create another paint node. So you can click on your paint node here and hold down shift spacebar and type in paint and generate the same exact kind of line. So say you have a shot that has not just necessarily a straight line in it. You can actually come back up to this polyline stroke tool. And instead of just going straight with the line, say your line or something in your shot may have a curve to it, you can come in here and actually, you know, generate a line over what you want to remove. And then just apply the same effect to it. And when you keyframe it, so you'll come back down here and right click and animate that line, you can come in here and actually kind of move it accordingly to get a perfect wire removal or line removal or some type of object removal 
and make sure when you shoot something, it doesn't have the wires going in front of someone's face because it will distort it just a little bit. Also, if you do it in front of patterns, it won't work so well, but it will work with there's like a good open sky or some clouds or, you know, something like the example. If you guys like my videos, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment below and make sure you turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, if you like my videos, there's a link right here. Go ahead, check it out. There's color correction, visual effects, and audio processing tutorials for you to watch and comment on those and let me know what you think. Until next time, I'll catch you in my next video. Fire.